Okay, so I'm signed into the Hub admin application using a named user of an ArcGIS Online uh, account that has open data enabled. So I'm in the Hub admin application, which is where you build and manage uh, and delete your Hub sites. Um, to create a Hub site, it's uh, pretty straightforward. Click the, uh, the Create New Site button, and this takes you through to the site configuration page. So in here, I can uh, put in some basic information, such as a name, uh, a URL, and whether I want to, how I want to share my Hub site. I can also set the extent of the, uh, the map that's in my hub site and also select a base map uh, if I want to choose one that's not default. If I click next, uh, a set of tabs that will appear to step me through the next steps in creating my open data site. So the first one, uh, it opens up on the group manager so the group manager tab um, allows you to select your group within your ArcGIS Online subscription uh, that hosts the public data that you want ava to be made available in your hub site. So I've got a, a, a group here called Open Data. I can click Add, and it should move it across to the selected Open Data group. Okay, so finally... Um, I've, it's opened up my site editor. My site editor is um, a wizard-driven interface that allows you to build the website of your open data site. I can hover over different elements within my website, and then I can use the, the buttons on the side here to configure them. So I can move my element around, I can delete it altogether, or I can use the little cog to customize that element within the, uh, the site. So what I'm going to do in this example very quickly is I'm just going to, I, one moment. So I've got an image that's stored in ArcGIS Online already, and I'm going to paste that into my background image, and it's going to swap over the, uh, the image in the header there. So if I click the cog, it'll then give me a, a representation of what my, my site's going to look like. Um, once I'm happy, I can then click Save. It saves the changes that I've made in the site editor. I can then click View Site, and it's going to show the open data site that I've just created. So as you can see, in very little time, I've been able to create a professional-looking open data site that's got data that I've got inside my ArcGIS Online account um, and that I can share with members of my public. So back to you, Miles. Fantastic. Thanks, Jack. So hopefully um, the main thing there, very quick.